Alternative medicine is growing in popularity, especially amongst breast cancer patients. Dr. Marie Winters works at Two Rivers Naturopathy, personally counseling patients on which methods would be best for them and the subsequent steps to take. Well, naturopathy uses traditional um, Western methods, or I guess standard Western methods of diagnosis, and so we would do the same physical exam, look at the same blood work, um, ask the same kind of history questions, but where it differs, differs is in treatment, and so what we do is we look at a whole person and the interplay of the different organ systems in the body. So um, as a naturopath, we're trained, um, as I said, to use diet and nutrition, um, and so I try to use that with just about everyone that comes into the office because I feel like if you can make your food your medicine, it's the safest way to go and it's all, it also has the longest lasting effect. I do tend to see um, two separate sets of people come into my office. One would either be uh, the person that just wants to live the most natural, healthy life as possible. Um, and they just come in um, almost as a wellness visit to try to improve their lifestyle and optimize their health. And then the other person that often comes in is the person that has a chronic illness um, that hasn't been able to find help with Western medicine. And um, I see a, a lot of those patients. I would say that makes up the majority of my business. According to the CDC, four out of 10 people employ holistic therapy treatments, the most common types being all natural products and relaxation breathing. Practitioners say the results appear not only in the physical well-being, but also mental and emotional health too. Important because many women with breast cancer suffer underlying issues like inability to sleep or anxiety. So, uh, what I try to do is make sure that nothing I do will interact in any way with the chemotherapy or radiation. Dr. Winter says herbs, organic foods, and exercise are most effective as a breast cancer preventative measure. And unfortunately, most people see her when it's too late. As October's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, there's no better time to start than now. Michelle Preventure reporting, Temple News.